for me, like I always say, this is a win-win situation for me. It's another one. Massive. This is six weeks after milking the first harvest. The harvest of this farm was done at the end of September. And this is about the 18th of November, approximately about six weeks. So the seed yams are being harvested now. You can see that the whole vines are all dried, meaning the seed yams are ready for harvest. So we are harvesting now. I want you to know that harvesting the seed yams are very, very easy. Like you can see my staff doing it. It's very, very easy to remove. You just barely need cutlass. You don't have to do so much work. And luckily for us, it rained last night. This is November 18th or thereabout. I think November... Today is November 18th, Abi. Okay, yeah, today, November 19th. So, um, we, are, we are harvesting now because we milk this yam around 29th of September. And this is November 18th. I like to remove them on time so that they can be taken home, dried for some time, then of course easily break dormancy. Now you may be wondering <laughs> why is it that we did not weed the farm? There's no use to weed anymore. Everywhere is a little bit bushy, but at least we know where our hips they are. So we just trace, we just only trace the, the vines, trace it to the ground. Sometimes the vines would have been detached. Okay, so look at what my staff is just doing easily just cut and that's all it doesn't take like 30 seconds to remove one so next you go to where the seed they just slash a little around it of course tip around the hip if there's anything there of course it will come out that's it okay so there are a whole lot here we have up to about 400 here that we want to remove now okay so these are ways to actually maximize money look at it that one is just coming out sometimes you can get two cdms from one here because we planted some some of them we planted more than one two bars and all that so that's it that one is quite big let me see wow this big this one can stay for one so you can see that we've already milked this place before we've harvested and now again we are harvesting the second time around plus or minus even within two months so these are some of the cdms that we have harvested so far so this is one one big one this one of course is enough to just plant once you see that it's already very very strong all we need to do for this one to dry out a little and enter and break dormancy of course it has entered dormancy now once it breaks dormancy we should expect that look at look at the the part where it's going to grow out from here so we are very very sure that this one is going to break dormancy soon so now that we have removed them so there are some of them that are actually st still small now of course the reason for that is very simple we harvested all those ones generally this particular farm this particular farm i harvested it a little because I was very busy. I, I, I wasn't around to really, really coordinate the, the the harvest. So I harvested it after five months and two weeks, around about six months plus one week or thereabout. So my CDM, they did not really come out the way I would have expected. Larger tubers, although some, I can, of course, this one I will just plant it once. The ones that I harvested earlier, five months, five months and two weeks, they came out very very big so that i can divide them into two i cannot just plant one seed here so that's the essence of making early so you can see that it's very easy to get seed yams from the same farmland by the process of milking there is no need you wasting opportunity and there's no need you waiting for the whole of the nine months to say okay let the vines dry out before i will harvest my yams you will just be losing money look at me now i'm getting two bars i've harvested this one like about six weeks ago and now i'm harvesting the seed yams i'm not going to spend money buying the seed yams again and it's at no cost i didn't really have to do so much i didn't replant anything just appropriate timing cut the head of um your yams as at when due 
like I've mentioned in the previous video, which I will expect you to watch. You need to watch that video. It's very key. If you are to maximize profit in yam farming, this is what you should do. It is not just about the pl planting in heaps. You can also do the same in bags. I know the in thing now is to plant yam in bags. So you can do whatever you are doing on the heap. You can also do it in, in, in the bag. I've done both. Of course, you are going to see the other segment of this video, which is talking about me harvesting these same seed yams from the bags that I've, of course, milked before now. So, guys, it is a very, very easy thing to do. It's possible if you want to maximize um, profit, if you want to get huge returns, over 400% uh, returns on investment in yam farming. This is a practice that you cannot do without. It's something I advise that you should do. If you have not been trying it before, give it a try. You will not make any mistake because I have already made all the mistakes. And of course, I've shared my ideas with you. Watch all our videos regarding this subject matter. You will discover that it's just a smooth sale for you if you start. You don't have to make the mistakes. I've already made all the mistakes and I've given you all the experience that you need. A lot of people know that we can plant yams in bags and you can harvest yams from bags but what many people don't know is that you can have double harvest from your bag you can harvest the main tuba which is the wet tuba and you can also get your seed yams from the same bag that is what we have started demonstrating a couple of weeks ago in our first video we discussed how we can actually get seed yams from bagging three ways first of all you can remove the tuba first and leave the remaining um the roots intact so that it can produce seed yam secondly there are two other methods where you can leave both the main tuba and the new developing seed yam inside the same bag i've demonstrated that and i will leave the link at the end of this video so today we are doing the review we want to see how we have done first of all we are going to be starting with harvesting the seed yams of the tubers that we have removed before let us see how the cdm did and secondly we'll move to the other bars that still have the main tubers and now the developed cdms so don't go away watch us as we do this so guys i'm going to start from these bags that i have already removed the tubers of course i like using my hand gloves i've already removed it. this where i harvested my very last tubers of the arms from some of them weighed far above this kg i even got a seven and over seven kg tuba from here so i tried to use it one so much during this dry season but now these are some of the bags the remnant of the bags i'm going to be removing the cedians now now you can see that the vines are dry it means that semi sense is complete this took about eventually from the planting beginning of the plant that was about first of uh, march i planted and this is about the seventh day of december so barely about maybe nine months within nine months we are getting both the main tuba and the seed so this is one of the bad since this one they are ready i'll just cut them off cut them off so guys you see that it is very possible. So this is one of the seed yams. This is massive. See, see where I cut it before. See what has developed at. And this is another, this is the place where it's going to sprout with time. So at the end, I'm going to weigh some of these seed yams. This is quite massive. I've already removed the major tuba and this is what I'm getting, double harvest. Let's go and see. How can get more? This place is it's a little bit hard. I'll probably need my Yama Vesta. Okay, this is my Yama Vesta. Yeah. Okay, I had about seven bags here, there about. Yeah, this is another seed yam. So this is another very good seed yam. 
So this, this is the sprouting point. That's the game. So let's see how we do here. Turn it to another one. But this is pretty huge. At the end, I'm going to weigh them to see this is another massive one. Another big one. So you see that you can get both the way yam and the seed yam from the same bag. And this is basically at no cost. So what I'm doing for the yams that I plant in heat, what I'm also doing here. Another one here. Yeah. So you see that the roots were still very much intact. Although it will form newer roots, it will continue the life. But this is another very big one. So for me, like I always say, this is a win win situation for me. This is another one. Massive. Massive. Bag is hard, yeah. okay. 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 So it's not too big, so it's still something. So that's how you see some of them might be very big, some may not be too big. It depends on your timing, also. You can have big ones, you have small ones. I always like to, to cut them on time. So you can have one like this. Okay. Yeah. So these are the ones that we remove the two bars first. We've removed the two bars first, and now we're having all the seeds. All the seeds. See them. See. For example, this one, I may even have to cut this into two to plant because it's very massive. My upper limit of the weight of the seed that I use is about 350 grams. I'm sure this one will weigh more than that. So anyone that weighs more than that, I have to make it. So this one is also big. Now we have done this, I want us to go to the next phase. We want to get the ones that have both the tubers and the seed yams. So let's go there. Of uh, yams. The two bars are still intact. Yeah. Okay, this this okay, this one, this is the one that if this one has a CDM already developed, this CDM are just removed. This is the main two bar. I'll have to remove it now. I left it because I didn't have the time. And of course, so that I can also show you that it can be done. It's a possibility. Just cut the head and remove the two bars and the CDM at the same time later. That's exactly what I want to do. Yeah. Guys, another thing you can do sometimes during this early dry season, your your bag can be very the soil can be very hard. You can wet it a little bit so that you will not fracture the yam. So could have done that but of course because I have my yam at this time I don't really have a problem. Okay. Alright, so this is the last tuba. I actually left it for too long. Alright, see. This is a big tuba. Plus this one. You can see that this seed yam came and this tuba from the same bag. That's one. The others, let's Okay, let's get another one. So guys, look at what I did. Remember, this is the separating video, it's still there. What I used to separate the head from the main tuba. Okay, now this main tuba has fallen off. And this is the CDR. This is the CDR. So I have both my CDM now and the main tuba from the same bag. So that's what I did everywhere here. So I'm going to have to address them all. 
So guys, this is a summary of what we have done. These are the tubers from the bags and these are the cedium. Some of them are quite massive. This one is huge. And there's another huge one here, another one here, and a large one here. This is quite large one too. This is a big one. So we're going to probably wear them and have an idea of what it was. We'll compare them with the ones that we have from the hip or mount. It's time for us to wear. These ones are the ones from hip. I have about 10 here. And these ones are the ones from sack. If you eyeball them, you see that the ones from hips, they are slightly by bully bigger than the ones from sack but of course the ones from sack they are still very very big but we are going to objectively assess them now this is a weighing scale so i just randomly took about 10 at least the 10 that are big from both sides so that we'll um, look at them and see how it goes so i'm going to start with the ones from from hip now this is the first one from hip i'm going to just measure so let's see what it's going to give us so let's see what it's going to give us now this is about 2 kg wow close to 2 kg not exactly 2 kg okay removing parallels that's about 4 pounds for those who use pound weight that's about about 4 pounds okay so it's far more than one kg about two kg let's see okay from what from my own assessment it's 1.8 kg that's cedium from the hip so let's check out the largest one from sack so i removed that one and let's take the one from from sack i think this should be this should be about the biggest here this should be about the biggest i think so let's put it oh. so measuring the one okay this is about 1.1.6 kg that's about 3.5 pounds see it 1.6 kg all right the difference is very slight 0 0.0.2 kg all right so let's take another random one Let's take another random one from heat now on that very big one i think this one let's put this one from heat so let's come and check so let's wear another one from sack this is another one from sack i'll just put it and this is about Yes, this is about 1.4 kg. Take the total weight of the 10 from the heat, and I'll take the total weight of the 10 from the bags. We are going to look at the average weight of each of them. So that will be able to comparatively determine which is actually bigger than the average. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Okay, this is 10 of them, so let's determine the weight now. The total weight of the 10 from hip is Ta -da, that's the result 25 pounds that's about 11 from my end here is 11.4 okay 11.4 kg for the 10 of them so this is the 10 from sack let's check the weight now we have about 19 pounds but it is about 8.6 kg guys so you can see that getting cdm can be at no cost 
when you know exactly what to do. So I want you to watch this next video that shows how we got here by cutting the head of our yams inside the saddle such that we got both the seed yam and the whey yam from the same side. Happy day.